Come forth. We only wish to communicate. We only want to communicate with you. Like I said before, did you work there when it was the factory? When it was Babcock? Did you like your boss? Or were you the boss? I invoke you spirits to come forth. Release yourself from the bondage. Come forth into the light. Communicate with us tonight. What do you wish to tell us? Now is your chance. We're only here to help you. Come forth, touch our life force. Communicate with us. Now is your opportunity. What do you wish to tell us? apartments underneath here. So that's what you heard from just here on the TV. And let's walk up here. We're gonna walk up the other side now. This is just the first <coughs> excuse me, the first half of the building. Did you hear the knock when uh, you asked him to say to knock? Did you hear a knock? Yeah. You did? Both times you asked him, yeah. Where was that in the front of the back? It was kinda of halfway up and it wasn't a strong one. It was just almost like a Pat. And did you like want to not give us a heart attack when we walk past you in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that clock go off again? No. That clock went off again. As soon as he uh, as soon said as we, anybody I said make a sign. Say, that was really wild. And it, and the clock read ten o'clock when it went off. Yeah, but it was midnight. But yeah, well it's what? Yeah, it's after midnight. Well actually I checked my watch when it went off and it was ten after, it was so 10 it's, after? it's not like it was dead on midnight. We're going down the next part here. Well, down here there's supposed to be a dark spirit. <laughs> we'll see if Steve picks up on this one. Feeling anything, Steve? Steve's not feeling nothing. Come on out, say something. Oh, it's right there. Oh, big Thanks. We're talking to the man who smoked the pipe. We invoke your spirit to come forth and communicate with us. Are the ladies here? Eva? Sophia? Are you around here tonight?